Hello guys, I'm Anil Suthar, structural engineer from Jodhpur, Rajasthan and today I'm going to share how I designed this six-story building. It all started with a client who approached me to design a six-story building for this plot. The first thing that I look for in a land is its soil strata. As you can see, in past, this land was used for agriculture purposes. So I gave excavation order till lift pit level. It is always a good practice to know the soil strength in advance. Looking at this vertical profile of soil, we can confirm the absence of hard strata underneath the land. Looking at this strata, I was expecting a low SPC value. Later on, the soil penetration test was done and the results confirmed the low SPC. As the soil test was going on, we prepared architectural plans for the basement parking, ground floor and other floors with front and side elevations. After that, columns were placed at room and hall corners while keeping in mind that none of the columns should create obstructions in occupants' workflow as well as shouldn't look unpleasant. It is a good practice to restrict the maximum distance between columns to 18 feet to avoid high reinforcements and large size footings with unnecessary large depths. Then I moved on towards the structural modeling and analysis part. Complete structural design was done in ETABS 2016. If you are designing an RCC building, then ETABS is the best modern software to work with. This building was designed for dead load, live load, earthquake and wind load as per the IS codes. To learn much more in detail about the practical RCC in steel design, you can visit our website www.fieldready.co.in. Coming to the footing design, as per the soil report, the entire site consisted of clay soil. This type of soils are known for lifting up the footing in the presence of moisture which will later on result in cracking of walls. So to counteract this lifting pressure, the best type of footing for this kind of soft soil is raft footing. The complete raft analysis were done in STAD Foundation Advanced Software. This software is quite easy to use as well as it provides the final detailing sheet of footings as well. The raft footing came out to be 2 feet. Here are the reinforcement details. I provided the extra mesh below the columns to safely distribute the column loads to the raft. This is how the reinforcements were laid on field. Firstly, the PCC was done to level the surface, then raft bottom layer rebars were laid, then the columns rebar with their individual footing mesh were laid. Lastly, the top raft mesh was laid. Later on, this mesh was filled with concrete up to 2 feet left. This was a short design overview of how we approach a design work. To learn much more in detail how we professional design structures on field, visit our website www.fieldready.co.in.